Did you know that our Earth was once a frozen snowball? Picture a time when our planet was not the vibrant, life-filled blue marble we know today, but a bright white sphere of ice and snow. This might sound like a plot for the next big sci-fi blockbuster, but it's not. This was our Earth many millions of years ago. Now I know what you're thinking. Was Elsa from Frozen around back then, casting her icy spells? As entertaining as that theory might be, it was indeed the grand force of Mother Nature that turned our planet into a giant snowball. And no, Olaf wasn't there either. As unbelievable as it sounds, a group of scientists from Australia have gathered compelling evidence to support this icy chapter in our planet's history. According to Dr. Adriana Dutkowitz, a leading member of the team, imagine the Earth almost completely frozen over. That's just what happened about 700 million years ago. The planet was blanketed in ice from poles to equator, and temperatures plunged. The researchers' clues to this frigid past came from a field trip to the Flinders Range in South Australia, where they noticed glacial debris from the Sturtian glaciation period. They combined these observations with data from Earthbite computer models, which offer a glimpse of where Earth's continents and ocean basins would have been 700 million years ago. This research led them to the starting point of a severe ice age known as the Sturtian Glaciation, which lasted from 717 to 660 million years ago. The likely culprit for this icy rain? A significant drop in carbon dioxide emissions from volcanoes in what's now Canada. But the question that remained unanswered was, what caused this freezing? That, my friends, is a mystery we will unravel in the next scene. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this icy chapter of Earth's history and explore what it might mean for our future. The answer to this mystery lies in a field trip to the Flinders Range in South Australia. Dr. Adriana Dutkiewicz and her team embarked on a scientific adventure that led to a significant discovery. Amidst the rugged terrain, they identified glacial debris that had survived the test of time, remnants from the Sturtian glaciation period. This tangible proof of a frozen Earth was a treasure trove of data waiting to be explored. The team then turned to a powerful tool, the Earthbite computer models. These models, a result of a collaborative effort between Australian universities, international military organizations, and industry partners, offered a unique window into the past. They provided a glimpse of the Earth as it was about 700 million years ago when continents and ocean basins were in different locations. By combining two models, one illustrating the shifting tectonic plates, and the other focusing on carbon dioxide emissions, the team was able to piece together a fascinating story. They discovered the starting point of the Sturtian Glaciation, a powerful ice age that spanned from 717 million to 660 million years ago. The culprit behind this freezing period was not a villain with a freeze ray, but rather a significant loss of carbon dioxide emissions from volcanoes, specifically those located in what is now known as Canada. It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? Usually we associate volcanoes with heat and fire, but in this case, their silence pulled the Earth into a deep freeze. This loss of carbon dioxide, an essential greenhouse gas, altered the Earth's balance. The planet couldn't retain enough heat, and the result was a prolonged icy period. The Earth transformed into a bright white bundle of ice and snow, a stark contrast to the blue and green planet we recognize today. In essence, the Earth's own geological processes turned it into a frozen wasteland. The volcanoes fell silent, the carbon dioxide emissions dropped, and the temperature plunged. And so, our Earth turned into a prolonged planet ice. At this point, Earth was a solitary ice ball with no multicellular animals or land plants. Picture our planet, swathed in a thick blanket of ice, a sparkling orb of white in the vast darkness of space. During this time, some 700 million years ago, life as we know it was non-existent. The Earth was a stark, silent world, its features concealed beneath miles of ice, its oceans frozen solid, its land an unbroken expanse of white. In this frozen world, the atmosphere did a peculiar dance with the planet's geology. The greenhouse gas concentration was almost entirely controlled by the outgassing of carbon dioxide from volcanoes and the weathering of silicate rocks, which consume carbon dioxide. It was a delicate balance, a dance between the Earth and its atmosphere, where the release and consumption of CO2 harmonized to create a world of ice. Volcanoes, those fiery behemoths, were not just agents of destruction, but also architects of the atmosphere. They belched out carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that traps heat from the sun, warming the planet. But during this icy epoch, volcanoes in what we now know as Canada, saw a significant drop in carbon dioxide emissions. This drop, coupled with the carbon dioxide-consuming weathering of silicate rocks, tipped the balance, 
plunging the Earth into a prolonged ice age. This was the era of planet ice, a time when Earth was a solitary snowball, its every feature cloaked in white, its every sound muffled by the blanket of ice. But even in this frozen silence, the Earth was alive, its geological processes continuing beneath the ice, shaping and reshaping the planet, setting the stage for the world we know today. But it leaves us with another question, could our Earth freeze over again? Is the return of planet ice a possibility, or is it merely a relic of Earth's past, a chapter in the planet's history that has closed forever? The answer to that question may lie in our understanding of the past, and in our actions in the present. Before humans and dinosaurs, the Earth's climate was influenced more by geology and weather. In this bygone era, the climate's rudder was steered by the raw, untamed forces of nature. Volcanoes belched out carbon dioxide and weathering of silicate rocks consumed it. A delicate balance that when tipped, plunged our planet into an icy slumber, transforming it into a dazzling white sphere, a planet ice. Fast forward hundreds of millions of years, and the picture is starkly different. Humans with their industrious activity and insatiable thirst for progress, have become major players in this climate game. The burning of coal, oil and gas for energy has sent levels of carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas, soaring into the atmosphere at an unprecedented rate. This human-induced climate change is now exacerbating natural changes, adding fuel to the climate fire. Dr. Adriana Dutkiewicz, a leading voice in the study of Earth's past climates, issues a word of caution. Big changes do take time, she warns, but we need to be cautious of how we take care of our planet. The actions we take today, the choices we make, will echo in the climate of tomorrow. And NASA's findings send an even stronger message. According to their research, our current rate of climate change is happening at a pace 10 times faster than any climate shift seen before in Earth's history. This rapid change, this race against time, is a call to action. It's a call to understand, to adapt, to mitigate. Yet as we grapple with the future, it's essential to remember the past. The frozen Earth of yesteryear, the planet ice, serves as a stark reminder of the power of natural forces and the delicate balance of our planet's climate system. It's a lesson from the past, a warning, and a guide for our future actions. So we must ask ourselves, what can we learn from this icy chapter in Earth's history? How can we apply this knowledge to our present situation, to our future? Understanding our planet's history is crucial in dealing with our future. It's a journey of discovery, of understanding, and ultimately, of survival. So, our beautiful blue Earth was once a frozen snowball, and it was Mother Nature who did it. The icy depths of our planet's past, when Earth was swathed in a blanket of ice from pole to pole, reveal a fascinating chapter in our history. This was a time when the Earth was a bright white snowball. A time when carbon dioxide emissions from volcanoes dwindled, plunging our planet into a prolonged ice age. Understanding this past is critical. It's a stark reminder of the intricate dance between geology, weather, and life. It underscores the delicate balance that maintains our climate, a balance that human activity is now tipping. As we learn from Mother Nature's past actions, we must also recognize our role in the present and future. We've seen how our actions can accelerate changes, how our choices can impact the world. As we move forward, let's remember this. Ultimately, the future of our planet lies in our hands. Let's be mindful of that.